Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to part 2 of this replay. You already see hyped up, now getting double armory, so we may be uh, getting uh, level 1 plating and level 1 armor or weapons and plating for the siege tanks and those hellions. So, not going for the weapons upgrade on those vikings as I originally thought. Oh, back over here, really, just 8 vikings in the air doing a lot of harassment. One SCV getting underneath there to start repairing as well. But the Zerg player, now sitting on 63 harvesters, definitely has the economy. You can t take a look at the, the losses. And looking at the losses, you would say that the Zerg player is really, really far behind. But just because of the discrepancy in the harvester count, you should see Argos Zenith being able to macro up a fairly large army. But in continuing to come are these Vikings. These Vikings doing a great job. However, a group of Mutalists with that bounce damage able to deal a lot of damage towards those Vikings as well. Vikings just coming back needing to be repaired once again. Back over here, Argos Zenith just has a lot of overlords in the air keeping track of the map, a lot of map insight at this stage in the game. And we are now getting the level 1 weapons upgrade for those Mutalists. However, level 1 weapons and level 1 armor upgrades for those siege tanks. And now Thor is joining this army. All of this off of, all of this production originally off of only one factory, one barracks, and one starport. Now you see Hellions being produced out of one of those factories. So now going into a very heavy mech play. Very heavy mech play here. And what, off of four factories, a group of Mutalists now coming in, and, what, a dozen Mutalists and now an Overlord coming in perhaps to try to give a little bit of sight, perhaps try to take some of that damage from those um, from those missile turrets. And now those missile turrets quickly coming in, one Mutalist able to just do a lot of splash damage. There we go, trying to move in, but Thors and Vikings coming in. Wow, Vikings with that really, really long range of attack and that Thor with that range of 13 as well. I will range of 10 as well, doing a great damage. Towards those Mutalists, Mutalists being splashed, being forced to pull back once again. Back over here, a whole bunch of spying crawlers establishing in this base and essentially will be able to set up another base over here. But the level 2 weapons upgrade now being researched for the Terran mech. So now that, that Viking transition into Terran mech, we're going to see a lot of siege tanks, uh, uh, Hellions, and Thors. This is going to be very, very interesting. I do not think that Argo Zenith has enough gas to really be able to get the necessary investors to counter those Thors. Mutal is now trying to come in, but running head on into an army of Lancer torpedoes and Javelin missiles. Those Javelin missiles just simply destroying that whole entire army there. Mutal is trying to come in, trying to perhaps deal some extra damage towards those Hellions. And now Zenith sitting off of two bases, still uh, still um, being able to macro a fairly large army just because of um, excuse me, just because of those mules. So mules really helping out here. But now in come these mules from this backside. A lot of SCVs will get taken down here as these as we're going to continue to get pushed. We now out come the Vikings. Vikings are going to be able to start taking down some of those mules. And there we go. So now currently sitting on what? 14 mules. We do in fact have three Thors and seven Vikings trying to prepare over here. And we have an army of Zerglings and Roaches. So oh, three control or what six control rows as we now have hellions moving in and hellions are not going to be able to push in over there as these mules continue to push on in in really really tight position over here but wow that splash damage and those vikings dealing so much damage thors and just just dishing out that damage there and really unable to do anything about that back over here mutal is going to continue to come over here and the thor's damage is now seven seven and fourteen i thought it was originally um, 7 and 13. Hmm. It, it might be plus 1, plus 1 again. I'll have to look up on that. I'm trying to remember all my stats. Um, I don't remember. I thought it was 6 and 12 and then 7 and 13. So anyways, back over here. Hellions activating this El Naga Watchtower. Overlords now coming in with a very, very large Doom Drop. And we have a group of Vikings now coming in. And a Thor ship. So Thor ship moving out, trying to clear out any possible expansions. If these Overlords get taken down by those Vikings, this is going to be GG. And it may be GG. In fact, as those Vikings are going to just be able to shoot down. Mutalist now running ahead on, trying to save some of those some of these whole entire drop and now outcome of these units very very large number of overlords in the base continuing to move continuing to drop zerglings and roaches just scampering all over the place roaches infesting the whole entire zerg player siege tanks now using that low ground to their advantage making sure they're able to deal a lot of damage towards these units but those vikings continue to just deal damage towards those overlords and now Argos is even seen at 157, 155, continuing to lose units. But those Roaches are just able to scamper in, perhaps take down some of these armories, take down some of these supply depots, and being able to take down the production of Hub of Hub Dub Zenith. Back over here, 
It doesn't look like any of this army, this very, very slow Thor army trying to take down some of these units. Vikings should be coming into ground mode in just a moment, and a lot of SCVs are going to get taken down here as well as these, as these units continue to come on in. Thor is just now coming in and dealing a lot of damage. Roach is getting torn apart by these Thors and these Siege Tanks in that non-Siege mode, dealing 31 damage, and, and those Thor's Hammers dealing 36 damage as well. Hub Dub Zenith lifted off a command center and did not upgrade it to an orbital command, so not quite sure why he did not load up some SCVs. Hub Dub Zenith sitting on, what, 3,000 minerals, so even very, very um, strong players sometime and fall behind in their macro as well. Now going to go ahead and continue to produce more and more units. Should try to produce some Hellions, maybe even try do a little bit of a tech lab swap in order to produce some Marauders to deal with the amount of roaches that we've seen coming in from Argo Zenith. Argo Zenith being very smart, not going for, excuse me, not going for Hydralis, as Hydralis are just going to be simply falling apart here. Now getting the level 2 um, armor upgrade and the lo um, level 1 claw upgrade. So getting the claw upgrades as those middle is now running on in Thor's, um, well, not quite sure why th those middle are trying to engage against so many Vikings. Not quite sure here, as especially as there's nothing in this whole entire Doom drop. He's just kind of trying to faint it. And those Vikings are going to be able to just deal a lot of damage with that extra range. Vikings now pulling back. One Thor sitting there and dealing. Going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. And yeah, Javelin missiles now. It looks as though the upgrades on the Thors are in fact 1-1 one, one, instead of the 1-0 uh, in a previous patch. So the Thors have been upgraded once again unless I am remembering incorrectly. I, I guess I misremembered in, in terms of a famous famous quote there anyways overlords now moving out again not quite sure what's going on here we have a large large number of missile turrets here trying to protect all of these production buildings missile turrets are much stronger against mutilus in in starcraft 2 than the original starcraft because missile turrets do not deal that explosive damage it is a flat base damage as well command center now being upgraded to an orbital command most likely gonna get canceled as and you no, know, we're gonna have an army of Vikings now come in, and now a Thor ship coming in to do a drop as well. Is it gonna work? Drop in time. Thor now coming in, now dishing out that damage. Mule is now being called in to try to repair that planetary fortress. Is it gonna be enough? Those mutilists trying to finish it off, unable to. Down to 130, 183 damage down. It may get taken down. There is one SCV there, and no, unable to establish this expansion on the bottom right hand corner. So great job with that Mutalist harassment. And now we see Ultralist. Ultralist with five armor should be able to um, just come in and push on in. We, uh, he does have the proper counter though. Thors with um, a lot of uh, siege tanks should be able to move out and dish out a lot of that damage. We now have a medevac now being lifted off. Going to go ahead and try to set up an expansion over here as we have this orbital command moving out. Overlord just keeping track of the whole entire map. We are now getting the level three Carpus upgrades. For the Zerg player, so we're going to see Ultralist with five, with, uh, with essentially six armor, and wow, the Ultralist in the Overlord. So we're going to see a Doom drop of Ultralist, and we also see Infestors as well. This is going to be a great, a great battle coming in. Two, two upgrades on these stores and these siege tanks. Vikings now clearing out that Overlord here will be able to land an or land a command center in just a moment. Siege tanks now moving out. Is this going to be enough? There are, in fact, a lot of, of missile turrets in that position. And is this drop going to happen in time? Yes, Thor, or sorry, Ultralist now dropping in. Zerglings now coming in as well. A lot of damage being dealt as these Ultralists continue to come in, trying to splash as much damage as possible. Hyped up doing a GG there. So Argos Zenith winning this game, constantly changing his tech, constantly changing his strategy, getting into Ultralist and, and getting some Infestors, even though we didn't see that much Infestor play, no... No neural parasite, but what a great game here! Thank you, Z and Zenith, for giving me this replay to cast between Argos and Hype Dub. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.